Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is June 6th and the markets are rallying. Logan, can you take us through the numbers? Yeah, Cody. Well, we're looking at old crop corn up 11 and 3 quarters here. Old crop beans up 36 and a half. We have wheat trading up 11 and up 8 in Kansas City here. Uh, dollar index really the only thing trading lower here this morning. Yeah, absolutely. There's some big news out of the European Central Bank. They had a meeting. They did not lower interest rates. And, of course, that causes relative strength for the euro. The dollar is selling off this morning. That's adding a lot of support for the grain complex yep. and commodities as a whole. You can see right now that crude oil is up $1.70. So, yeah. uh, Logan, why is soybeans up so relatively strong this morning? Yeah, well, we had an uh, export sale to China reported this morning, 120,000 metric tons of beans, uh, of old crop beans going to China. We also had frost concerns out of Piranha for their winter soybean crop. And kind of to add on top of that, we also had a story uh, across the wires from Dow Jones this morning that farmers have front-loaded sales in Brazil to take advantage of a favorable exchange rate and relatively high prices. So uh, the supply of soybeans may be drying up in Brazil. We saw that really added a big premium in the, into our futures market over the winter. So people are concerned about that. As a result, we have beans up 36 and a quarter here right now. Uh, what are we kind of looking at out of the six to 10 day forecast here? If we do look at this map provided by Planalytics, you can see that there is an above average chance of seeing precipitation in some key states to getting, uh, getting that trend line yield out of this crop. Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, all should be getting rain next week. That looks to be keeping a little bit of a cap here uh, on the corn market with respect to beans, as you were saying earlier. And, you know, we've really heard a lot of talk that this is the first couple weeks in June is going to be critical to getting good yields out of this corn crop. I think that's why we're seeing uh, a little bit of a pull, or not pullback, but relative strength out of beans with respect to corn here. Absolutely. Well, we'll take a quick commercial break, and when we're back, we're going to talk a little bit about monetary policy, as it's going to be a major game uh, changer here uh, right. on June 19th and 20th. We'll see what happens. Grain Hedge is more than just futures trading. Clients receive our cash grain optimizer showing spot and forward bids within 200 miles of your farm. We take into account your trucking costs to find your best selling opportunity. We provide in-depth basis mapping historical basis and cash price charting. Every day we show you your best price and if it meets your profit goals. Contact Grain Hedge today to get started. And welcome back to Grain TV. You know, Cody, before the break we were talking about that Federal Open Market Committee meeting that we're going to have here on June 19th and 20th. That's when the Federal Reserve comes out and decides to uh, enact QE3 or to not enact QE3. You know, how is that going to affect the grain complex here moving forward? You know, just so we're all, all on the same page, if the Fed does come out and say they're going to go forward with QE3, they're going to go out on the market, they're going to be buying treasuries, more dollars are going to be available in the market. It will devalue the dollar and therefore increasing the value of any commodity that's denominated in dollars, i.e. corn, wheat, soybeans, anything, gold, right. crude, whatever. You know, so that's really what the market's looking for. Or kind of expecting here, it seems like, but it's not fully in the bag here yet. You know, I know you looked into it kind of in depth here this morning. What, what's kind of your take on the matter? Yeah, I mean, just like, like you said, I mean, the market does seem to be anticipating a QE3. And what, what we saw here is a, a change in the dollar index. If you take a look at the dollar index here, you'll see that we had an incredible rally up here. And the, the pivoting point was that, uh, was that employment report that came out. It missed expectations, and we see the dollar start to move a little bit lower. I think what's going to happen here is the dollar is going to continue retracing here as, as more anticipation for quantitative easing uh, comes on it, it, as that becomes a more popular trade. Right. And as a result of that, the dollar moving lower, you're going to see grains, soybeans, corn, wheat, you know, all see a little bit of a bid. Right. However, I don't think it's in the bag. I don't think that quantitative easing is a guaranteed event. I think that there are some causes for concern that we may not actually receive it. Right. I know that Ballard, the uh, president of the St. Louis Federal Reserve Bank, uh, was saying that his 2012 economic uh, forecast has not significantly changed. And he also said that a policy change isn't going to help out the European situation. So right. we're not entirely sure how uh, quantitative easing is really going to add uh, a significant stimulus to this economic problem. Right. Um, now, also we saw Fisher, uh, Richard Fisher, president of the Dallas Federal Reserve, he also said that short of an implosion, he is not in favor of any further quantitative easing. So there is a, a dissenting opinion out there. I think yeah. there is a chance that we could see a surprise, not see quantitative easing come on, and as a result of that, you'd see the dollar move sharply higher, and corn, soybeans, and wheat all get pressured to the downside. Yeah, certainly. Well, you know, there are a lot of moving parts to this, uh, this event here that we're going to see coming out on the 19th and the 20th here in that FOMC meeting. We'll certainly keep you posted on that on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us. We also have that Informa announcement, uh, the yield projections, coming up here in about a half hour. 
Follow us on Twitter if you have to go out and work on the field. We'll keep you updated as the market trades. Thanks a lot for joining us here for Wednesday morning on Grain TV. Have a great rest of your day.